Good morning and welcome to This is Another Day. Today's scripture reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 16, verses 25 to 26. Around midnight, as Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to the Lord, and the other prisoners were listening, suddenly there was a great earthquake. The prison was shaken to its foundations. All the doors flew open and the chains of every prisoner fell off. This is one of my most favorite scriptural accounts. Paul and Silas are thrown into jail for upending a money-making scheme that was financially fruitful for some, but unjust and exploitative for others. Money was being made off the back of a slave woman who possessed an evil spirit, which enabled her to predict the future and make money for her owners. Paul becomes frustrated with the situation and puts a dent in the operation by commanding, in Jesus' name, for the spirit to come out of the slave. But although the slave woman is ostensibly free, Paul and Silas are beaten and tossed into jail. Now oppressed themselves, they lean upon the freedom they have in the gospel of Christ, which opens up so much more than just heavy prison doors. This is another day to examine where we might be in chains. In what area of our lives do we keep ourselves or others fettered to unhealthy beliefs, life narratives which no longer serve us, or unrealistic expectations that stifle and smother us, preventing us from thriving and calling forth our full humanity in Christ. Emmy-nominated actress, documentary film producer, and transgender activist Laverne Cox observed, each and every one of us has the capacity to be an oppressor. I want to encourage each and every one of us to interrogate how we might be an oppressor and how we might be able to become liberators for ourselves and for each other. So Lord, you declare that freedom in your gospel can liberate both the oppressed and the oppressor. Help us today to continually examine our own complacency in the oppressive systems around us and untruths about ourselves, so that we may hope and work all the more diligently for true justice. Thank you for being with me today, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.